Today I want to talk about three different devices, electrical devices which we are using in laboratory. Two of them are very important which we frequently use in laboratory. Sometimes we use galvanometer also. What are they? These are galvanometer, emitter and voltmeter. And I want to show first uh, the appearance of galvanometer. It is like this. It is uh, written G here. And another one this is emitter same as galvanometer nothing seems to be dif different but uh, there is a lot of difference between uh, the emitter and galvanometer inside its construction there's another one voltmeter look at this we can identify them with the help of just the alphabet g g for galvanometer and this a for emitter and V for voltmeter. Looking at this G, A, V, we can identify them. Now let's talk about them one after another. For what purpose galvanometer is used and for what purpose emitter and this voltmeter. Okay, let's start with galvanometer. This is a device which is used to measure very, very less amount of current. Actually, instead of saying measure, it would be better to say it detects current in the circuit. Whether the current is flowing or not can be detected by this galvanometer. It means very less amount of current is detected by galvanometer. And this is called moving coil galvanometer. And actually a coil is placed in a strong magnetic field inside it. And uh, it is designed in such a way that when very small amount of current passes through that coil then uh, the deflection in pointer appears and uh, we can read the value of current which is very very less less amount of current can be detected that's why what can i say first characteristic is it detects current detects current it detects current in the circuit and this is the symbol for galvanometer. Inside the circle, we are writing G and this is the wire coming out. I mean to say this wire means the, these two points and the red is uh, positive and the black is negative, whether it is uh, colored or it may be written plus and minus. And this is the symbol. And while using galvanometer in the circuit, we have to use this in series to detect the current. These are some basic characteristics of galvanometer. Now, if more current is passed through this coil, kept inside it, then deflection will be more and a little more amount of current can be shown. But this device is exactly used to detect the current and it is also used to uh, find the change of direction of current. Change of direction of current. Direction of current. It means, uh, look at this. Here we have zero mark and in right hand side also the marking is increasing and left hand side also marking is increasing. It means if current is flowing in one of the direction in the electric circuit, the pointer deflects towards right hand side. If the direction of current changes, it is just the opposite, then pointer will deflect in left hand side on the side. This way galvanometer is used to detect current and it is also used to find the change of direction of current. It is used in series in the circuit and this is the symbol. Now let's talk about this emitter. Actually the same galvanometer is modified and emitter is made. Looking at these three they appear similar from outside but uh, in inner side, an emitter is modified galvanometer in which the resistance is decreased. I mean to say uh, resistance of this emitter is decreased by using a uh, resistance inside it and uh, the emitter has negligible resistance. We have to remember that 
emitter has negligible resistance first it is used to measure current first we have to remember that this is a device which is used to measure current and second we have to remember that uh, a symbol is this and this is the positive terminal this is negative terminal here we have it is red colored this is black colored this is positive and negative and while connecting this in the circuit we have to connect this in series and we have to connect in such a way that the wire coming from the positive terminal of cell or battery uh, to this point I mean to say positive to positive and the wire coming from negative terminal of cell or battery should be connected to minus symbolized wire connecting point this and what I told you just now it is actually modified galvanometer in which another resistance is kept inside it in parallel to reduce the resistance of emitter all the current which flows in the circuit should flow through the emitter also its resistance should be negligible and we can take example also let's say this is a cell and we are lighting a bulb with the help of this cell if we are lighting a bulb let's say this is a bulb and if you want to find out the uh, value of current flowing in this bulb then you can use emitter this way in series it should be connected in series and the wire coming from this positive terminal should be connected to plus symbolized wire connecting point of emitter and wire coming from negative terminal of cell or battery should be connected to this point minus symbolized wire connecting point of emitter and current flows like this the current which flows through this uh, ball all flows through emitter also and its resistance is made very very less negligible and it can detect the current now let's talk about the voltmeter now we are talking about voltmeter this is voltmeter the voltmeter is also modified from galvanometer now actually this is a device which is used to measure potential difference between two points of the circuit how much work is done between two points of a circuit by the flow of one unit charge is measured by voltmeter it is used for the measurement of potential difference and uh, this second point we have to remember is symbol is v and it is also symbolized this way plus one side plus if one side is plus it's not necessary to write minus in another side but uh, if we think okay then we'll write this also now this voltmeter this is positive sign here and wire coming from positive terminal of cell or battery should be connected to this point and wire coming from negative terminal of cell or battery should be connected to this point and it is connected in parallel parallel in the electric circuit and so so uh, uh, when let's say this is a cell and this cell is connected to a ball and you want to find out the work done in this ball i mean to say how much uh, what is the value of potential difference between two points uh, which are lying uh, in left hand side and right hand side of the ball then potential difference between these two points can be measured by using voltmeter in parallel this way this is a parallel combination and wire coming from this positive terminal should be connected to plus symbolized wire connecting points of voltmeter point of voltmeter and another minus symbolized wire connecting point of voltmeter and its internal structure externally all of them are similar but internal structure this is modified from galvanometer and the resistance of the voltmeter uh, is infinitely large and it is modified from galvanometer and any huge amount of resistance uh, is also connected with this voltmeter and because of this reason the current flowing in the circuit is not changed by the use of voltmeter and this is the characteristic of voltmeter one emitter for uh, in emitter the resistance very very low resistance substance is used with galvanometer uh, to make emitter but for voltmeter very high resistance material is used inside it to convert galvanometer into voltmeter okay 
this way we will connect and we will measure the potential difference between these two points these are the basic very basic differences between what uh, this galvanometer uh, emitter and voltmeter basically all of them are galvanometer but galvanometer is modified to measure current reasonable amount of current in the circuit uh, by using a very less amount of uh, resistance inside it with galvanometer and for voltmeter very huge amount of resistance is used uh, and galvanometer is converted into voltmeter uh, externally they appear similar but their work their function is very different okay this must for today